Okay, back with a new project, and um, you know I like mountain bikes, you know I tend to collect, let's say, hoard maybe, uh, mountain bikes, i uh, got quite a few, um, so I thought the next project should be something early, um, something that some people consider the, the first mountain bike style bike. So, I was looking on the Facebook Marketplace and um, I saw a bummer pop up. Um, unfortunately, the guy wouldn't actually respond to any of my questions. So, I looked on eBay and I found this. It's a 1982 Rally Bummer. Um, and the reason I say it could be considered the first of the mountain bikes is that it actually has 26 inch tyres, 26 inch wheels, sorry. Um, that are exactly the same size as sort of the KHS that I ride, the Scott, Diamondbacks, all those. They've got the 559 um, size tyres. So they use conventional 26 inch mountain bike rims, mountain bike tyres. Um, this is a three speed one. Um, it's, eh, it's had a hard life. It's definitely had a hard life. There's a chip out the chain guard. Um, there's rust on it that I'm going to have to strip off. The paint is like got rust spots over it. Saddles lost its cover, and the chrome is obviously rusty. But I think we can work with it. Um, it appears like it's already had a replacement front rim because that is alloy, but the rear rim is still the big fat chrome. So I think we're going to replace the front rim, front wheel, with a chrome one. Um, but yeah, it should be a nice little project it's all got the original parts on we'll see how the seat post is as well because that's been taped up but i'm going to try and recover that saddle because it is the original saddle um i'm going to try and clean up the chrome as best i can and i'm going to get it all powder coated and we'll see how it comes out it's just finding the decals it's going to be the hard part of course it's got really windy and cold today um so yeah i'm pretty sure Original grips, original brake levers, they've got even the uh, rubber guards on it. Sturmy Arch 3 speed shifter, um, and you can probably see, maybe if I zoom in a bit and turn the exposure down, the rust spots on it. Um, I'm going to do my best to clean, the levers will clean up no problem, the Sturmy Arch shifter will clean up. It's just the handlebars which might be a bit of an issue. And the reason I say that is, well, here. Um, you've got chrome missing off there, the stem, um, I'm probably going to say that's going to be like a 21mm stem maybe, old rally, it could be a 22.2, I'll find out. Uh, but I can spray up all the black, replace the bolts, no problem, it's just the handlebars which are going to be the, the main issue, maybe I can get them re -chromed. maybe. As I said, frame wise, um, I mean you could clean it up. I don't think it would be too hard. It's not too bad a condition. You've got scratches and scuffs. You've got little bits of rust showing through. But you know, with the right cleaning, that will come up. But I am gonna powder coat this one. Uh, decals. They are all there, but they are all scuffed and scratched. Let me refocus. Um, you used to be able to get these, the bomber decals. Yeah. At the moment I can only find this top one with the they B17s. No, they're not B17s. Don't know what those are. Who are they? Whatever they are. Um But yeah, I can get the top one. I'm gonna try and heat up and peel off the down tube and the seat tube ones and get them remade. If not I'll just be left with the um with the top one unfortunately. Now this one is going to be the pain, the chip there that's at the chain guard, um, I could just take it off, it wouldn't hurt to take it off, just undo these bolts, um, but it'd be nice to have that on there, I have seen one on eBay, it is 40 odd pounds just for that one piece, and I only paid 56 for the bike, so that's going to be an expensive uh, cost. But it would make the bike 
Maybe I can repair it. Maybe I could like knock up some. I don't know how thick is it. Maybe I could fiberglass it. I'm not sure. I'll have a after experiment. Um, but the chain, as rusty as it seems, it actually still works. It still rides. I have ridden it around. But obviously that's going to get replaced as well. And um, before I start fully stripping it down, the rear wheel, the original one of the two, I've actually got it in quite good condition. Um, it's big, fat, wide chrome. The chrome is actually pretty nice on it. There are rust spots, as you can see. It needs to be cleaned up. That shouldn't take too much time. Uh, the spokes also need to be polished up. There's some rusting around the bottom, so they should be all right. Um, but yeah, it's going to take a lot of polishing of the metal work. I think it should be good. Apart from that, this is the saddle. Um, the original one is just left with the plastic frame. Um, I don't know, I've got some foam, I've got some vinyl, maybe I can recover it. I'll give it a go. This is just a bike cut cover. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start stripping it down now, get everything cleaned up as best I can, and then drop it off to the powder coaters, drop the frame off. And then I'll have nice, perfect black paint job. I'll try and find the decals and I'll try and clean up the chrome as best as possible. So, I don't know, stripping montage. I had a good time listening to some 80s rock while stripping that down, but yeah, it, it's uh, it's not done yet. Um, I need to get my grinder out and cut off that doohickey, what do you call it, kickstand on the bottom. Um, the bolt is seized in there, it's an alloy, alloy stand with a steel bolt in, it's completely seized in there. So I'll just cut that off um, and get a new one because that one's a bit horrible anyway. Um, the stem, stem is seized in there, the headset is uh, locked on tight, but fortunately both of those are steel, so I'm just going to flip the bike over for a bit, um, run some penetration fluid through there, let it all soak in and hopefully that should come off. If I can get the stem out, then I can get the headset in the vice and use the whole bike as leverage and undo it that way. Um, heat didn't work, hasn't worked so far. So yeah, I'll just um, flip it over now, let it soak. Um, as for the chain guard, it's not actually bolted on, it's riveted on. 
So I'm going to have to drill out those rivets and uh, see if I can replace that. And the pedals are currently soaking as well because they are seized into the cranks. So, a bit more work to do before I drop it after the powder coaters. Um, but I think next time you see this, it will be freshly black and I'll uh, potentially be ready to assemble it. Touch wood. In fact, instead of bringing you back after powder coat, powder coat in, I'm just going to bring you back right now because we've run into a few issues. Um, as you could tell before, the stem, I don't know which, where's the microphone on this? The stem, that was seized, that was seized absolutely solid in there. Uh, it took a good while to get out that. Uh, tried heating it lots of times, tried uh, soaking it in penetration fluid. I ended up putting a load of sealant uh, over the doohickey, uh, the stem bolt, uh, so no fluid would leak out. Flipping the frame upside down and filling the steerer tube full of white vinegar um, and letting that do some work for probably about a week. Um, and in the end I stuck it in a vise, stuck the frame in a vise connected to the top lock nut which was also seized actually um, and using the frame's leverage or using the handlebars as leverage sorry I managed to crack off the top lock nut um, which left the bar still seized in there, the stem still seized in there so I stuck the forks as much in as my vice as possible heated it up again and that apparently did the job and it came out so the forks are free the headset is free, the headset is not in a good condition as I'll show you now so there you go, looking down into the headset. Oh, this is rust. Um, it's it's not looking good for being smooth running that. But something else connected to this. The the forks, when they were in there, when everything was together, it didn't really like to turn. Uh, now I just put that down to this. I put it down to being rusty. All the bearings were dry. Um, the bottom bearings did have fluid in them, but that was pretty much because of the um, spray and the white vinegar that I'd used but all this is dry and I just assumed the binding was because of that I don't think it was because have a look at this now how am I going to be able to show this now these are the forks fork the fork okay this is the fork it is not in a good shape. I don't know if you can tell just by eyeing it. That does not look straight to me. This steer tube, I believe, is bent. If I put it in my vise, the top here, where the threads are, and the bottom here, near the crown, have some air in, whereas the centre here is touching it. And vice versa, on the other side, that is touching, that is not touching, and the bottom half there is touching. So I think these forks are bent, or the fork is bent. Um, where's a flat piece of metal? If I stick this saw, for example, into my vise, have that set on there, like that, you can clearly see there's a gap in the middle, or at least I hope you can clearly see. I'm trying to hold that and look at the screen. Yes you can. You can clearly see there's a gap in the middle. So if I flip that over, the pressure point should be here and there should be gaps at either end. Like so. That is not good. Uh, when that is in the steer tube, that is going to be causing some binding because the bearings aren't going to be running on a flat surface. So it looks like if I'm going to have to save this, I'm going to have to... If I want to save this, um, I'm going to have to get a steer tube replaced. Now that would give me the chance to replace it with a 24 threads per inch one, uh, which would be easier to work with. But I'm just, I'm, anyone who's worked with a bomber before, like, let me know, but I'm pretty certain this should not be rocking like that. It didn't look bent, the forks don't look bent out of the frame, the wheel sits centred. 
although it does have a replacement front wheel so perhaps once upon a time someone's gone flying down a hill into something and bent the uh, bent it actually here um, I don't know and maybe the front wheel caved in and that's why it no longer exists but that is very very annoying the seized parts I could deal with but this this is a whole new level for me having that Hercules had a slight bend in it but that wasn't too bad that is really binding so uh, I don't know let me know what you think in the comments um, it sucks it really does suck because I wanted a bomber for ages and yeah that is going to be a bit of a cost added also with the frame oh god I can't remember if I mentioned this but when I was taking the seat post out there is a crushing here just at the back um, it's flat <laughs> and you can feel it on the inside of the tube there's like a, um, uh, a ridge I do not know what has happened here um, the seat post is also crushed in exactly the same place so I can still use it um, I just can't rotate it all the way around but I've, what is what is up with these bikes? Why do I keep on getting a bike <laughs> that has all this hidden problem with it? Yeah, there's definitely a bulge in the tube, and obviously, if that was to be repaired, they'd have to take out the whole freaking tube. Maybe take the whole frame apart. I'm going to have to contact some people, um, contact some proper frame builders, see if this can be repaired. I'm not too fussed about this. Um, it will be hidden, shall I say, because I'm going to keep this bike um, and the seat post will still work. But the fork, it's, it's no good. So I'm going to have to contact some frame builders and see what they say. Um, but I think that's going to be it for this, this episode. I was planning on doing the whole thing in one go. But it's going to have to be split up into a couple of parts. And we'll uh, see where we get there from there. But keep following on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Keep following on those for updates on the bomber. And I'll uh, try and keep you all updated. The chrome I would love to actually completely redo as well. Like keep the original handlebars. Keep... Um, get everything re-chromed but we'll see again how much how much the fork repair is first and then I'll see what I can do so um, yeah that's it for this video the rally bomber pain in the ass, but it's going to be it's going to be an awesome bike when it's finished like I've wanted a bomber for ages unfortunately I've just got a uh... <sighs> yeah okay see you later